guys. Now, I know it's kind of hard to know about me. It's not the most obvious thing. And you guys might not know it, but I have curly hair. Yeah, not many people know that about me. Um, <laughs> no. I have obnoxiously curly hair, and I've always had I was born with really curly fro-fro hair. And, and yeah. And so I thought, um... I, I would do a video about the problems of having curly hair because believe it or not there's a lot of problems with having curly hair. Now I've had crazy curly hair all my life. Um, except for the time in like freshman year when I decided to straighten it. Sadly I destroyed all those pictures with fire because it did not end up well and I look bad. <laughs> so uh, let, let's just see what I looked like when I was younger. So in this uh, cute shit picture of me, um, I was probably three, maybe four max. Um, yeah, that's a lot of hair for a three to four year old. So there's Emily's, yeah, that's me. Um, my mom always had curly hair until she got older. My dad always had curly hair. My brother and sister ended up with wavy, which is fun and stuff. But I was born with this, and it was not the best because I, like, still get made fun of because of my curly hair because it's so crazy. But, yeah, I was, like, three or four in this picture. I already had that much hair. That curl Do you not see the fro there? A three or four-year-old should not have that size and volumicity of hair. Now, in this picture, I love the hair I had in this picture because it was really long and curly and that was the way my mom take care of it. Susan took care of my own hair. It ended up like this. The key if you have curly hair is a lot of conditioner because that's what I was there. But here I am. If you look in the picture, I have like really like deep, like it, it's like really red and it's really long and it's really crazy and I'm sitting with a pedophile Santa. That Santa looks really creepy. But anyways, that's me with my curly hair. I was like six or seven in that picture. Yeah. TBH, I couldn't like, look like Meredith or Merida from Brave in that picture. Honestly, that's what my hair looks like when it's long and stuff and when I don't have like a dimming filter on my camera. But yeah, my hair is like that long and crazy and stuff. TBH, I look drugged in this picture. <laughs> I was sick. I had the flu and I had to take pictures with my sister and stuff. But anyways, my hair was like really long and like flowing and stuff. Now it's this. But yeah, like uh, my hair used to be like really long and stuff and then I cut it. Now I'm like gonna grow it all the way back down again. But yeah, I mean, I've always had like obnoxiously freaking curly hair. Now like, like a lot of people, like if they have curly hair, they go and straighten it. But I, I know, I, I tried it. Trust me, I've tried straight my hair. It doesn't look good. Like, it doesn't. And, you know, I'm in this emo kind of category, supposedly, or whatever. And, like, they all have, like, really, like, straight P1 looking shit hair. And they're all, like, the black streak thing. And, you know, a lot of people in this scene or whatever that have curly hair, they straightened it, you know? To, like, kind of form it. And, like, here I am, like... The only YouTube, not the only YouTuber, I'm sure there's other YouTubers with curly hair, but I'm like one of the few YouTubers and few people in this scene that have straight hairs. And, er, curly hairs. I don't have straight hair. And it's really confusing. And, and obnoxious, because I don't know what to do, because I'm like a minority here. Here's all these people with straight black hair, and I'm here with ginger fro. Like, this is what I'm left with. Now take Brian Stars for example, exhibit this hotness, um, he chose to straighten his hair. As we all know, he used to have curly hair. I don't have a picture, and of course I have this one because he just looks fine. But anyways, he chose to straighten his hair. His hair used to be curly and now he straightens it. Every now and then you can tell he has damaged ends, like when he just lets his hair go grow or go. Because you can, like, if you have curly hair and you straighten it for a long time, the ends of your hair will, like, turn straight. That's what happened with, like, a lot of my hair because I used to straighten it all the time. I used to straighten my bangs and stuff. I wish I had an old picture of it. But anyways, I used to straighten my hair all the time. It ended up really frizzy and, like, the ends would be all damaged and stuff. But anyways, 
now Brian, like, the last YouTuber that, like, was in the emo kind of, or alternative, or whatever, YouTube scene, the last hope of, of, like, the last person that had curly hair in this scene, he started straightening it. Granted, he looks hot as heck in it, as it, like, with straight hair, but now I am, like, left. I'm not gonna straighten my hair, but this one chose to. Now, like, I have friends and stuff that are like, you don't know, straighten your hair, like, just submit to the emoism or alternative initiativism. But no, I like my curly hair. And you know who else likes their curly hair? Ray freaking Toro. This cute shit right here is Ray Toro. Okay, he has curly hair. Adorable curly hair. Do you not- Do you not see how adorable he is? By the way, he's from- he's the guitarist from My Chemical Romance. But look! He has curly hair! And like, how do you not find that, like, crippling and adorable? Just him and his awkwardness and his poofy hair? One day I'm gonna be like that, and I'm not gonna miss up the chance. Cause you know what, he straightened his hair. And I think we all remember what happened when Ray Toro straightened his hair. This is what happened when Ray Toro straightened his hair! Excuse me, no thank you. <laughs> no? <laughs> uh, which would you rather have? Cute or this? This is not the Ray Toro, and plus this is exactly what my hair looks like when I straighten it. Exactly. Not even kidding. We, this is not the Ray Toro we know and love. You know what? Th this is not! This is the Ray Toro we love. The fluffy-haired, cuddling with Gerard Way Ray Toro. Now, here's a fact. If crazy curly hair is good enough for Gerard Way, then it should be good enough for you, and that's a darn fact. Do you not see how cute this is? Gerard Way likes his hair. That means you should. I'm not even kidding! The, the curly hair works! This is another fucker that works. Joe Troman from Fall Out Boy. Yet another guitarist. It's curly hair. Granted, his is more wavy. But do you not see the attractiveness? Curly hair! It's so good! Uh, I play guitar. We need a guitar. I just realized that if I play my cards right, I'm gonna end up in the same ca category as them. Emo fro uh, guitarists. Emo, well, yeah, yeah! Emo fro guitarists. There's a potential AP Magazine interview. Because we all have froze, we all are basically in the emo kind of thing. And we all play guitar! <laughs> Yay. So, uh, this is the end of this video. Um, just to show you a reoccurring problem, it's a blessing and a curse, but if you have curly hair, love it. Because not many people have it, and a lot of people want it because it's unique. And it's actually been proven. That if you have curly hair, it's a recessive gene, and it's kind of rare because the follicle actually grew crooked, and that's why it curls. Because if your follicle or your atoms or whatever grow straight, then that's why you have straight or wavy hair. If, because sometimes the atoms and stuff split and curve when you're being created in the, your mom's belly and stuff, um, it will end up curly. So it's actually a rare thing, um... So I feel blessed by having it anime. So curly hair, um, it's fun. My llama head. But anyways, uh, curly head, curly hair is awesome. So anyways, this is this video. I love you guys so much. Mm, I hope you guys are good, cause I'm good. <laughs> Bye. Off camera. Uh, off. Do, 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 do.